Look, I love my kids, and I thoroughly love the process of creating them. However, the way in which they were delivered was nothing short of disturbing. Let me walk you through it. First of all, I was damn near certain that my wife had an affair with fucking Brock Lesnar because both of my kids were just shy of 10-pound babies. She gave birth to toddlers. My son, when he left the hospital, he was in 3T clothes with a 5 o'clock shadow. Talking. And if you haven't seen her, my wife is not a big woman. So by the time of her due date, it looked as if she was about to have a natural C-section. Her ass was about to pop. There were a lot of times I would just sit there and stare at her belly and think, yep, as soon as she pushes this Volkswagen out of her crotch, I'm going to be about as useful in the bedroom as a fucking inflatable dartboard. She did end up needing a C-section with both of our kids. And I wasn't prepared for either occasion. She, on the other hand, took them like a champ. However, she was heavily medicated. They take my wife back. They give me the surgical mask, the hat, fucking gown, you know, all that shit. And I am in the zone at this point. Like, I'm about to perform this whole operation. The nurse comes in. She's like, all right, Mr. Sims, we're ready for you. And I was like, look, if y'all need an extra set of hands in there, do not hesitate to ask. Because I have seen every episode of Grey's Anatomy. Now, I'm not proud of that, but I have seen every episode. She's like, uh, actually, that won't be necessary because your wife insisted that we not let you look over the blue sheet. You know, she's afraid you might pass out. <sniffs> pass out, bitch. I live in Anniston, Alabama, okay? I've seen some shit. Ain't nothing in there gonna surprise me. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. I walk into this room, and my wife is spread eagle on this table, fucking tied down like she's in Fifty Shades of Freddy Krueger. Uh, and these doctors are just carving into her like she's Thanksgiving turkey. Holy shit! Are you okay, babe? She's totally unfazed. Just laying there jerking around, smiling and shit because she's so doped up. She don't even realize that they're gutting her like a fish. This ain't so bad. Why do you have that look on your face, though? Oh, I don't know. It just feels an awful lot like a scene from one of the Saw movies. Damn. You were high as shit. Then out of nowhere, this doctor jumps up on top of my wife and she starts pounding on her belly like, ah, 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 ah. Fucking blood splattering up on the blue sheet. And I'm like, ah, what the hell's going on? She's like, get ready. I said, for what? Out of nowhere, my son pops out. He's covered in that white cheese dip, you know, from the Mexican restaurant. I don't know what it is, for real. They clean him up. They give him to me. And he's so happy to see his dad. He pisses all over himself and me. And we just get a good laugh out of it. It was awesome. They sew whatever's left of my wife's belly up. We have our bonding time. Uh, and then they stuff us in this room that is significantly smaller than the one we started out in, which makes no fucking sense. Because now there's three of us, plus family, but whatever. Anyways, my wife is so doped up that she can barely hold her head up, much less hold a conversation. And we got these nurses coming in every four to six minutes asking the most irrelevant shit. Mrs. Sims? What did you say the name of your third grade homeroom teacher was again? Would you just get the fuck out of here? Can't you see she's drooling all over herself? She can't answer you. Damn. Oh, uh, bring us back some of those Depends. It's got the uh, icy vagina patch on them and some Reese cups if you can find them. And then don't bring your ass back till morning time. I love my wife and I love my kids, but nothing about that experience was beautiful. Breathtaking at times, yes, but not beautiful. I do respect women for what they go through, though. That's... <laughs> fuck that shit. So, fun fact time. Men, if your wife has a C-section, you might not have to wait six weeks, if you know what I mean.